Hey folks, uh, got a pretty busy day today. Gonna see about finishing this uh, miniature pottery wheel. Um, so this weekend I ended up finding a few parts at Goodwill that I didn't show. Um, the first is this cooler here. And the goal is, bring this over here, is to have, I also found this piece of aluminum, so I don't necessarily need to cut a circle out of this piece anymore, I don't think. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is grind that down and then fit or have a thread at the top of this that screws in and then a, th a uh, thread inside of here that would screw onto there so that this part fit to there. And then the whole contraption would fit in this cooler. I can carry it around. So, like this. And then the motor would be inside the cooler. And then, I also picked up the speaker. So, the goal is to hook all that up today. Maybe. I think the first task you know, is going to be uh, threading this hole so that it fits onto the motor there, to that thread. So the other day I figured out that it's 1224, I think, um, and I purchased the thread and tap for that, or the drill and tap for that. So I'm going to get started. Just need to put it on the lathe and straighten this thing up. Otherwise, we're gonna have a wobbly wheel. Going very, very slowly. I think I need to figure out a new idea. I'm gonna see what the uh, torment will do to it. All right, here goes nothing. So I think that's about as uh, about as good as I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna put some I'll put some washers under there, like a nylon washer or something to fill in some of the gap. And now I just need to thread this piece right here. <laughs> to go to another hardware store to get the right tap um, or the die the right die for the thread and a tap I guess so I might end up just just doing that tomorrow um, it's pretty freaking cold out and I don't really feel like riding my bike over there Kate has a car right now um, but I am gonna open some mail so stay tuned <laughs> Looks like another uh, 
fun little kit. While in uh, setting up the soldering stuff, I was setting up my solder fume extractor and I kind of uh, put too much, too much power to the fan and burn it up. Then I just decided to take the fan apart because it would be fun. And uh, this is what I ended up with. The fan had LEDs in it, which are cool, but it uh, started smoking. I'm gonna try to see if I can get into the back of it. But I also noticed that the uh, so I took the fan out. It's actually pretty close to the the motor. I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to use it somehow. The housing for the fan. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. Well, I uh, found the resistor that burned up. Well, I, was, I was able to uh, get the coil no. off. And I was also able to save this hall sensor. Alright, time to get started on this thing. Finally. It has a little case for it. Alright, so I'm going to do the uh, caps first, then I'll do, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll go ahead and do the resistors. I had to go uh, inside and format, or remove some of the content from the card, the card fill, filled up. I also realized that I just made a mistake. So this R2 right here, this doesn't need to go there because these right here, are gonna fit inside of there. So, I don't know why. Oh, R2 is this. Duh. All right, well, I'm gonna remove that resistor. Right, done. So I went ahead and uh, I soldered all these. So that should be good. All right, so these uh, adjustable resistors have numbers underneath. All right, so 503 is the first one. Goes here, and then the other ones are 104. So there's two of those. So I'm already soldered in there, so this is probably gonna be a little tricky. Alright, well, got it about, about as far as I can get it in there. 